What's going on everybody, my name's Shark Smasher, and welcome to an update on the Mortal Kombat movie, or the, just the Mortal Kombat Cinematic Universe in general. Now, if you love Mortal Kombat, you consider subscribing to this channel, as I tend to make as much Mortal Kombat content as possible. I'm also on my way to getting monetized, so please help me out, as it will get me on to my way to making better videos. Now, let's jump right in. Now recently, Screen Rant did post an article saying that the person who plays Kung Lao, Max, and who plays Lu, Lu Kang, Ludi Lin, uh, want a Mortal Kombat movie spin-off, probably called Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, which I think was an amazing topic, which is all really dependent on if the Mortal Kombat movie goes well, which it looks like it will, and it looks awesome. It comes out on April 23rd now, so I know we've been pushed back a week. But we'll be fine. But uh, Max says, I think it's because the reason why is because the world and all its realms and the whole universe of Mortal Kombat is so big and consistently growing that it's the beauty of it that it's consistently evolving. I think that oh, I would love to see a Shaolin Monk spin off telling Liu Kang and Kung Lao's origin story. That would be the ultimate dream because I have so many ideas that I would love to put in there. And that would be my favourite. Lou Glenn says, I would love a spin off of that because I think the end of the movie leaves a perfect setup for the series. Liu Kang loses something that's really important to him without missing any spoilers. It's another world and it's perfectly the perfect opportunity to walk in through some other doors. Really interesting uh, when I read that uh, with uh, I think that Ludi Lin yes saying um, that the end of the movie um, like leaves is perfect for a Shaolin Monk's um, ending, which I like a sequel or spin-off if you will, like how that game was. Um, it's really interesting that um, they say that is. Because people think Kong Lao is probably going to get killed off, and I'm, I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't think they Kong Lao will die, but I'll just have to see. But it, if they were to say, um, well, Luke was to say, yes, uh, the ending of the movie is perfect for a Shaolin Monk spin-off, I don't think uh, Kong Lao will die if um, the ending of it is perfect for a Shaolin Monk spin-off, as Kong Lao is the main character. But um, with them saying that they want a Shaolin Monk spin-off is, I know it's not completely um, for the game of Shaolin Monk, but it'll be interesting if they have, like, um, something maybe when it comes out, on, if, they, if it does happen, like, if it comes out on DVD or something, you can have a bonus feature and you can just um, have it when it's Joe Taslam and all that, just the Sub-Zero and Scorpion, and it's the whole movie's been reshot <laughs> with Scorpion and Sub-Zero. And just the voice lines are still Kung Lao and Liu Kang as that's an actual feature in Shaolin Monk, which I think will be pretty cool. I think it's just interesting though that um, they're, they're even just discussing sequels when the Mortal Kombat movie has just been delayed and hasn't even came out yet, which stopped delaying the movie. I want it now. But um, <laughs> I, I think they should just. Um, well, I like that they're discussing sequels because it gets me excited to know that Mortal Kombat could possibly having many movies to come. More fans are going to come in, more games, you know what I'm saying? It's that I'm going to be able to go into the cinemas and see more Mortal Kombat, okay? I'm not complaining, but it's just... It's weird, it's interesting, because they're really, really confident in it, and that's amazing, because that means that the movie is possibly really, really good. And now they're discussing Shaolin Monks, and they also were discussing, I think, a Rain and a Johnny Cage dollar movie. Which I think is pretty cool if they if we get all of them. I would also like to see probably a Baraka movie or something, because we don't... Well, I haven't... Baraka's in the movies that were Mortal Kombat, um, related like, um, Scorpion's Revenge or Annihilation has been literally the worst characters in the movies, like Baraka and Annihilation looked like absolute garbage! I could see my man's his mouth through the mask! I think that's probably the same mask they used to motion capture, like, to put in Baraka into the actual Mortal Kombat 2 game, which was a uh, a Halloween mask that they, I believe, Ed Boon said. But, um, <laughs> yeah, and then in uh, Scorpion's Revenge, he does this whole thing with Johnny Cage. Freaking just dies, he just stays still, and the rocks just fall on him. 
which <laughs> is an interesting way for Baraka to go out. I, I mean, it's a little bit better than how he went out on Annihilation, if you know what I'm saying. He, he just shared the same clip as rain falling into the um, water, like, the, you know, it's, you can literally see the purple rain. Purple rain, purple thrown into the same pit that Baraka was getting in the same frame. They didn't even change it. You can't see that it is definitely rain. Like they couldn't even like Photoshop. I'm not sure what they would have done. They had a budget. I could do better than that. Let me know if you want to see a Mortal Kombat movie, by the way. Um, I could definitely try, but um, <laughs> this is me rambling on. So if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like. And if you do enjoy uh, Mortal Kombat, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.